everyone, welcome or welcome back here to my channel where I play Planet Zoo. My name is Nisa and today we're gonna take a look at this great blue heron, uh, which is made by Ginger Toast. I did take a note that last Friday, if you remember, we looked at the grey heron. Um, they are both made by Ginger Toast and they, this one came out a day after the other. Um, so I was intrigued to actually go in and see what the differences would be and so on. If you look at the picture here below me, the biggest change is this longer hair at the bottom of the neck. Uh, and actually I would like to... Here, as you can see, it's only down here. It's The rest of the neck is very slender and just like the grey heron. But here it's um, longer, but only in the button. I'm just gonna click back there, um, and then it have this more bluish hue to it, uh, and these dark patches, for instance, here at the shoulder. So that's what we mainly gonna look out for. But there is something else that I normally don't look for. But that's the sizing because the gray heron had an issue with sizing where the juveniles is smaller sorry bigger than the adults so i gonna drop a juveniles here and the first one i placed over here is the adult and uh, i'm not sure i haven't checked but I think clearly we can agree that this should be smaller. It is a juvenile. Again, this is the adult. Um, same issue basically um, with the others. I'm not sure why I will inform the mother as always. And if they make an update, then I will put a pin coming. Uh, in the description uh, sorry uh, down below pin comment if i make a new video i will link that in that comment but if it's a small change like the sizing just fix the sizing then i would just write it in there fix the size uh, issue um so basically uh if you watch this video at any point later and normally they don't fix it much uh, right away but if you see it later, then go to the pin comment uh, and see if there is a pin comment. Um, anyway, the great blue heron. Here we can see it. It have a little muddy area. I actually like that. Uh, least concern and there. Uh, put in a comma. I think two million. I think in them of them in the wild and they live in North and South America, the U.S. Uh, Canada, Mexico, and Caribbean, and they live in aquatic, grassland, timbered, and tropical uh, biomes. Again, they, it is a subaquatic bird. One of them need 100 square meters of land and 25 of water. Uh, deep diving is not an issue, and neither is climbing, of course. They live in areas from 10 to 40 degrees Celsius, so be keep that in mind even though they live in tempered biomes i think this is a migrating bird so they would only be in the tempered biome at summer so make sure to keep them warm a uh, grade two fins above half a meter uh that's 1.6 or 7 feet uh you can have group sizes up to 50 half and half or uh, bachelor groups up to 25 there's no dominance they are monogamous neutral uh, and guests can enter the habitat they grow to around 1.2 meters tall both males and females and live for around 10 years they weigh uh, around two kilos and can reproduce after only one year then they can reproduce until they die and they will get between three and five offsprings every year and be pregnant for a single month. Should be easy to get to reproduce in captivity and 
Again, it is a possible baby bone animal, so keep that in mind. They have some different interspecies enrichment in here, and I'm not sure why. I'm pretty sure it's the same that uh, he put for the grey heron. But the thing is, though, it doesn't live in Africa. Or India. As you saw over here. North and South America. So therefore, some of them just wouldn't make sense to do. It would be very difficult to make a combined... Uh, habitat for them though it would also bring in some possibilities and it is it does happen where zoos don't have the exact subspecies of animals so they will take another subspecies from another area and mix in uh, to, because the african buffalo are not gonna know if it's a great blue heron or a great heron um but again yeah, the moose makes sense, but again, the moose like the snow, the great blue heaven doesn't. Uh, for enrichment, we don't have that much. They are probably made as flamingos, so to go down here and write flamingo, you will get the right stuff. Uh, we have the waterfall thingy, mirror thingy, herbs and marker, and the sprinkler thingy. And for enrich food enrichment, we have this pool thingy. But... Uh, it does appear that, though the sizing is off, or uh, that it's the same. It's not like it's a baby variation. It's just a bigger version of the same one. And honestly, for me, it looks exactly the same as the gray one. The things I really want, I wanted this to be a little bit thicker because it is glitching. Keep in mind that might be my computer. I'm just gonna do that. Then I don't look so that it doesn't have the hairs down here and it's not because it's a young one the adults over here doesn't have it either i thought do they actually have their like spot up here i'm just gonna click here and then you can see that clearly black spot up there and the blackness here should be more prominent going up. Uh, feathers is what feathers is. It's the same feathers as the other one. Uh, again, the, these are bad feathers compared to what we have seen on other mods. But it's neither the best we have seen. Um, again, hair structure here, which makes sense because the feathers here would be so short. Most likely. I haven't seen these in real life. Um, but that it gives that hair like a look at it. Especially from afar. But back here I would like more feathers. We go directly for either mini feathers slash hair. To these giant feathers. I would like there to be something in between. With the middle size feathers. But that's basically it. Um... Yeah, wow, that was fast. Uh, the animation, again, it's made on the flamingo rig, so it does the flamingo thingy. Um, and besides that, yeah, the swim. Initially, when I got them, they were all placed right in the water, but the thing is here, there aren't anymore. The adult, the small ones, are placed a little too low. And the young ones, the big ones, are placed a little too high. But both of those are things I could live with. It would be worse when if they ended up all the way down here. Or if they started to glitch through the water, which they don't. So on that account, they are better than the others. Um, yeah, I'm actually sad that he didn't take the time to really make these two mud stand out they look pretty much the same i already deleted the other mud because i didn't know i was going to make this video so sorry i can't really compare them um but if you see the video side by side you can clearly see that it's pretty much the same anyway guys i'm not gonna drag this out you know i'm not too much into talking negatively about mud or mudders um and again it's not a bad mod it's not the worst mod we have out there at all 
um, but I would like, and my main issue is that it is, it doesn't have those small detail that distinguishes from the other ones. So it's basically the same he uploaded twice. That's my main issue with it. But that also gives the possibility that you can 100% just choose the one you want. If you base it on area, maybe if you want a, a North South American one, then go with this one. If you want a more world wild one, then go with the other. That's basically it. So, guys, you know the drill. Like, subscribe, and turn on the bell notification so you know the next time I upload a video. I really hope to see you again either in the cards below or in the next video. Bye, guys.